So today we are going to study number theory. So let us begin. We will start with some symbols. This is for all. This is there exists. This is belongs to or simply in this means the set of integers minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and so on and then we have this which means divides then we have this which means and then we have this which means such that then we have if and only if i double f double sided implication So let's begin with our definition of divisibility. Let a not equal to zero, comma b in z. Then we say a divides b or b is divisible by a or a vertical bar b if and only if there exist c in z such that b is equal to a c now let us begin to understand this we have a b quotient as c and remainder zero so basically this theorem says that sorry this definition says that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient now let us prove some theorems Theorem number one A divides zero, one divides A, A divides A. These are easy to, easy to prove, so let us prove. Zero is equal to A times zero. This implies A divides zero. A is equal to one times A. This implies one divides A a is equal to a times 1 so this implies a divides a so we have proved our theorem now part 2 if sorry a divides 1 if and only if a is equal to plus minus 1 So let us begin our proof a divides 1 implies 1 is equal to AC taking mod both sides we get 1 mod 1 is equal to mod AC this implies 1 is equal to mod a times mod c this implies a comma c are non-zero because if either of them is zero 
देन इक्वेशन वन एम्प्लाइज वन इक्वल टू जीरो अ कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन सो वी मस्ट हैव ए कॉमा सी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ ए नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड मॉड ए ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एम्प्लाइज मॉड ए ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू वन इफ मॉड ए नॉट इक्वल टू वन देन मॉड ए ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू बट मॉड ए मॉड सी इज इक्वल टू वन एम्प्लाइज मॉड ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाय मॉड सी एंड वन बाय मॉड सी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू एम्प्लाइज मॉड सी लेस देन इक्वल टू हाफ दिस एम्प्लाइज मॉड सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस जीरो ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू मॉड सी लेस देन वन This implies c is equal to zero, but this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. So we must have the contradiction arose because we assumed that. Mod a not equal to one, so we must have mod a equal to one, and this implies a is equal to plus minus one. Now the reverse part. This was the forward direction. Now the reverse part. Let a is equal to plus minus one. Then. we want to show that a divides 1 that is 1 divides 1 and minus 1 divides 1 1 divides 1 because 1 is equal to 1 times 1 minus 1 divides 1 because 1 is equal to minus 1 times minus 1 so we are done now theorem number 2 sorry 3 theorem 3 says a divides b and c divides d then ac divides bd let us prove this proof A divides B implies B is equal to A times C. E. C divides D means D is equal to C times F. This is one. This is two. One into two implies B D is equal to A C E F. E belongs to Z. For some. e belongs to z for some f belongs to z this is 1 this is 2 ac ef this implies ac divides bd and we are done theorem number 4 a divides b and b divides c implies a divides c This is easy to establish. Let us see how. Proof. B is equal to a times d. D in z. C is equal to b times e. E in z. Therefore, c is equal to b d. 
B is equal to A D E is equal to A times T this implies A divides C we are done now we will continue this in next video thank you for watching